Math 10, Trigonometry Lesson 3, Finding Angles with Sine and Cosine Ratio. So far, we've been able to find angles and sides using the tangent ratio, which is opposite over adjacent. However, there are some situations with right triangles when we're given the length of the hypotenuse instead of the opposite or the adjacent. These are the cases where we would use sine and cosine ratio. Well, what is the sine ratio? The sine ratio is used when we're working with the opposite side and the hypotenuse. It is created by placing the length of the opposite side over the hypotenuse. As a formula, we would write it as sine of angle A would be equal to the length of the side opposite to angle A divided by the length of the hypotenuse. Cosine ratio, on the other hand, is used when we're working with the adjacent side and the hypotenuse. Cosine is a ratio created by placing the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. If we were to write this as a formula, we would write it as cos of angle A would be equal to the length of the side adjacent to angle A divided by the length of the hypotenuse. Let's practice this using our calculators. So first, sine of 30 degrees, we want to find the ratio here. Now, how do we wind up doing this? Well, remember that we would punch in the ratio, in this case, sine. Then we would punch in the angle, which would be 30 degrees. And then we would punch in equals. Now, this is for an on-screen. What happens if you have a non-screen? In that case, you have to reverse the ratio and the number. So, in that case, you would push 30 and then sine. So, if we punch sine of 30 degrees equals, we should get an answer of 0 0.05. Now, that's with an on-screen. If we use cos of 30 degrees and punch it into our calculator, we should get 0 0.8660. Now, again, in this case, we would punch in cos 30 equals. Stop the recording now and try the next four. Here are the answers. Please uh, check what you got as an answer. Now, that is when we're finding the ratio, but today's lesson is about finding the angle. So, in this case, we're given the ratio and we want to find the angle. If you look at example 2a, sine of a is equal to 0.771, what would we do to find angle a? We would have to punch in the opposite of sine or second function sine 0.771 equals. That's if you have an on screen. If you have a non screen, it would wind up being 0.771 second function sine and you should get the answer of 50.4 degrees. Now, what happens if we're given a fraction instead of a decimal? Well, in that case, we would have to use brackets. So in an on-screen calculator, we would punch in second function cos, bracket, four, divided by five, close bracket, equals. If you had a non-screen, you would punch in four, divided by five equals second function cos. And you should get an answer of angle A is equal to 36.9 degrees. Stop the recording and try the next two. Hopefully you wound up getting an answer of angle A is equal to 39.6 for the first one and Angle A is equal to 53.1 for the second one. Determining the sine and cosine of an angle. So what we're looking for here is the ratio. We're not actually looking for the angle. So my first step is to identify the sides. So what sides am I given? Well, let's start with the fact that 10.8 is across from my right angle, which makes it the hypotenuse. Next, I look from angle A to identify the other two sides. 6 is across from angle A, therefore that makes it the opposite. 
9 centimeters is beside angle A, which makes it the adjacent. At this point, I'm ready to find sine A and cos A. Sine A is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So I write out sine A is equal to my opposite is 6, my hypotenuse is 10.8. So I substitute these values into the equation. At this point, I'm looking for the ratio. So all I have to do is divide 6 by 10.8, giving me 0.56. Next, cos of A is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. So I have to identify my adjacent as 9 over my hypotenuse of 10.8. I substitute these values in. Now, again, I'm looking for the ratio, not the angle. So I don't need a punch in second function. I just need to divide 10, 9 by 10.8, giving me an answer of 0.83. Number four, determining the measure of an angle using sine and cosine. So determine the measure of angle A to the nearest degree. So I look at my steps and the first thing I need to know is what sides am I working with here? So first I identify 16 as the, as the side that is across from the right angle. So that would make it my hypotenuse. Second, I would look at eight, which is beside angle A, which would make it my adjacent. Now, how do I know which ratio to use? Well, that's where something called SOKATOA comes in. In SOKATOA, each of these represents a different ratio. The first letter in each three, it, each three uh, sets of letters represents the ratio. The S stands for sine, the C stands for cosine, the T stands for tangent. The second letter in each of them represents the numerator in the fraction. And finally, the third represents the denominator. So let's go back to our example. How do I know which ratio to use? Well, I look at the first letter in adjacent, and that's an A. I look at the first letter in hypotenuse, and that's an H. Which ratio has A and H in it? That would be ka or cosine is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. So I now know which ratio to use, so I write out my formula. I am now ready to find the cosine of angle A. So my adjacent is eight, my hypotenuse is 16. I substitute these values in. I now wanna calculate angle A. Now remember, I'm doing the opposite of cos, so I have to punch in second function. So in this case, for an on-screen calculator, I would punch in second function, cos, bracket, eight, divided by 16, close bracket, equals, and I should wind up with an answer of angle A is equal to 60 degrees. Why don't you try this one on your own? And I will do it in a couple of seconds. All right, hopefully you've tried it. First step. It says determine the measure of angle A. So in order to figure out which ratio to use, I must identify the sides that I'm given. So first of all, I need to know that angle A is what I'm looking from. And I need to know that 13 is across from the right angle, which makes it my hypotenuse. Angle A is the angle I'm looking from. So what is across from angle A? That would be my opposite. So which ratio should I use? Well, I identify the first letters. First, I have O for opposite and H for hypotenuse. So which ratio has O and H in it? That would be so or sine. So I write out my formula. Sine of theta is equal to opposite divided by hypotenuse. Now I want to find angle A. So I write out sine of A is equal to my opposite 
is 10, my hypotenuse is 13. At this point, I'm ready to find angle A. How do I do that? Well, again, I want to get A alone, so I've got to do the opposite of sine, or second function sine bracket 10 divided by 13, close bracket, equals. Now, if you have a non-screen, you're going to have to reverse this. 10 divided by 13, second function, sine, equals, and you should get an answer of angle A is equal to 50 degrees. Finally, word problem. A water bomber fills its water tank in Skaha Lake. The pilot knows that he's a thousand meters from the peak of a 430 meter high mountain when he becomes airborne. What angle of elevation does he need to clear the mountain peak? Hint, angle of elevation means the same thing as angle of inclination. Now, first step I would do is draw a picture. You don't have to draw a picture, but I recommend it. So let's start by identifying the key parts here. First, I've got a plane. Second, I've got a mountain. And what do I know? I know that the pilot knows he's a thousand meters from the peak of the, of the mountain. So, I know that from the plane to the peak of the mountain is a thousand meters. What else do I know? I know that the peak of the mountain is 430 meters high. Therefore, I know that that's going to be 430. Finally, if we drew a line from the plane to the middle of the mountain, it would wind up giving us a right triangle. So now, how do I know which ratio to use and what am I looking for? Well, angle of elevation would mean the angle going up from horizontal. So there's theta. Now, which ratio to use? Well, identify my sides. First of all, 430 is across from theta, so that would make it my opposite. 1000 is my hypotenuse because it is the longest side across from the right angle. So. I need to know what ratio to use. So I know that I have O for opposite and H for hypotenuse. So which ratio has O and H in it? Well, that would be so or sine. So I write out my formula. Sine of theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Now I'm ready to find theta by substituting in my values. I know that my opposite is 430 meters. My hypotenuse is 1000 meters. So it's time to find theta. So I want to do the opposite of sine. What is the opposite of sine? It is second function sine bracket 430 divided by 1000 close bracket equals. And I get an angle of 25.5 degrees. Now, this is a little bit of a trick question because you need to be able to clear the mountain, not just hit the peak. So we need to have more than 25.5. And since they didn't specify, I'm going to write a word answer to say that to clear the peak, the plane needs an angle of elevation of at least 26 degrees. Don't forget, word problems need word answers.